What is up everybody? In this video, I want to go over the main reason why I think Skimbo was so dominant this past year in Madden 17. And I think that reason was his discipline. If you watched him play throughout the year, I think he was by far the most disciplined player in terms of just not making mistakes. Not saying he didn't make any mistakes, but in terms of trying to get him confused and off his mark on offense it was very very hard to do he always had a plan he always knew you know where he wanted to go with the ball he knew where his checkdowns were he knew where his hot reads were he just always seemed to be on top of it and it made it a very very difficult for anybody to basically a uh, try and confuse him and get him to make a mistake so uh, getting right into it here semi-finals of the B-Dubs Bowl 2 tournament against Ghost Madden. Three play sequence here. In the first play, you're going to see Gun Bunch to the left for Skimbo. Now a little uh, preface here for Ghost's defense. You see a big dime slant zone 2 look. And basically what I think Skimbo probably caught on to throughout the game, Ghost was being kind of predictable. He was basically, if Skimbo had Gun Bunch to the left, Ghost would blitz this corner right here and bring the double edge pressure out of this slant zone two look if he was gun bunch aligned to the right ghost would usually cross man this guy onto the receiver it would be terrell Pryor, who was kind of the point man in that gun bunch so basically uh, that was ghost's two defensive setups based on uh, which side of the field the bunch was on and i think skimbo uh, definitely caught on to that and you're gonna see it ends up exploiting it but right here you can see he flashed his routes, basically going to go with the standard cover two beater, right? So a motion out here, and he's going to try and flood the defense to the left. He's got a streak going up the field to carry the deep safety on that side, and then he's going to fade Randy Moss down the field and then have a backside in route as kind of a check down playmaker option. So what you're going to see as the camera rolls a little bit here, Ghost goes with the double flat right here on the left side of the field. So he's got hard flat in combination with either a soft squat or a cloud flat most likely and so when players go with that double flat concept it's hard to also allocate a, a defender uh, to play either a deep zone or a man-to-man -man assignment on that outside receiver and so a lot of times if the offense does happen to be running a vertically flooding route uh, you're gonna get burned so that's kind of the guessing game you played this past year in Madden 17 and right here uh, Skimbo wins the guessing game and goes with the fade on the outside ghost is user too late to get out there and Skimbo hits a huge play down to the one yard line and he ends up punching in a play or two later to take a 14-0 lead early on in the game there. So a little later, 14-7 now for Skimbo. Now gun bunch to the right, first and 10. And now you see what I said earlier, a gun bunch to the right now. So now Skimbo can probably suggest, okay, or, you know, go ahead and guess uh, that that defender is going to be cross-manned onto Terrell Pryor. But you're going to see here, a Ghost does a good job of recognizing, you know, the outside motion, realizing what Skimbo wants to do. And you see his user, he, he kind of covers this streak route initially, but he knows he does have uh, this defender who's going to be coming across the field to defend that. And so what you're going to see, Ghost's user ends up tailing out to the outside, knowing that he got burned by, by Moss earlier in the game for a touchdown out there. And so he's all the way out there, but Skimbo, no hesitation, has the route uh, coming from the backside to fill in that vacated area by Ghost's user that got pulled out to the sideline. Goes, no hesitation, hits the in route to Jerry Rice, turns up field, picks up 12 yards, puts him in field goal range, and picks up a first down uh, for him to uh, try and take a three uh, or seven point advantage going into halftime, turning that into a two possession lead. So that is kind of a situation where Skimbo's routes just play off of each other. Ghost goes to user of the outside, Skimbo hits the inside. Now right here, way later in the game, overtime now, 17-17, score all tied up. Uh, Skimbo's first overtime drive, third and four, huge play here. So gun bunch to the left for Skimbo. And now uh, what you're going to see is he goes with the same motion out. So it looks like the same setup, a pre-snap. It looks like Skimbo might be going with that double fades on the outside. And so... Uh, you see right here, Ghost goes with the same kind of setup. Uh, he blitzes this corner once again, so still being predictable out of that slant zone too. Uh, but now you can see, instead of Ghost saying, okay, I'm just going to run over there and use uh, that fade route by Randy Moss, what Ghost started doing was he would put his flat zone defender, uh, this guy out here who's normally playing a soft squat in slant zone two, he was dropping him into a deep zone. And so now, basically, he was saying, okay, I'm going to take away that fade route with the deep zone. But what that did 
is that it pulled that defender out of the area. So now Randy Moss can run this corner route, cut to the sideline, ghost his defender uh, to try and get out there to play that cloud flat right here. Uh, DRC, I believe it was, is too far toward the interior of the defense. Skimbo knows he's not going to be able to make it out there quick enough. And so he ends up delivering an easy ball right here outside and down pass lead away from that deep cornerback playing the deep zone. And he ends up converting on that clutch first down and keeping his drive alive there. So kind of just a three-play sequence where you can see Skimbo's plays all playing off each other. First two plays were identical. He goes with the touchdown on the first play to the outside fade. Ghost adjusts the next time he sees the motion. Skimbo, no hesitation, hits the backside in route for the check down and picks up 12 yards. And then the third time later on in the game shows the same pre-stat motion. He knows the adjustment that Ghost had been making. He knows Ghost had been putting, okay, that outside defender into a deep zone. Every time I motion this receiver out, Ghost adjusts and put his, puts his outside defender into a deep zone. So what do I do uh, to adjust to his adjustment? Skimbo goes away from the traditional setup that he had been showing earlier in the game and runs a corner strike setup where Randy Moss runs a corner route. The deep zone basically drifts and pulls himself out of the out of the play and Ghost's interior defenders who's assigned to guarding that cloud flat area not able to get out there quick enough on that motioned out corner route hits it hits it on the sideline picks up the first down in overtime and keeps a huge drive alive so that's just kind of a three play sequence you see and that's something you see basically every single game from skimbo if i were to do you know go through all of his gameplay and do this for every time i saw something like this happen it'd be a three hour long montage you know so this was just kind of one a cherry picked example but uh, I think this was kind of a microcosm of how Skimbo's game played uh, throughout the entire year, how disciplined he was, and how everything kind of ran off of each other, and, and how perfectly everything just meshed. So I think he was definitely the best offensive player this past year in Madden 17. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it was informative to y'all. Hope it was entertaining as well. Definitely comment. Let me know what you guys thought. Let me know what I can do better for next time. And until next time, guys, take it easy.